What's up, Dragon Brood? Today, this is going to be a step back to kind of near the very beginning of this season where we decided we were going to play werewolves, right? And, you know, things change throughout a season and things look a little bit different. And now we know some other decks that are out there and things we need to target, so our card choices become different. And not just that, there's a couple of cards I wanted to try out in Unnatural Moonrise and Unnatural Growth. Both that I think could actually help this deck quite a bit in the current meta. So we're going to take a look at what Gruel Werewolves looks like with their new unnatural form. Okay, so like I was saying, we do have to make some choices to meet the needs of the meta, if you will. So... Starting at the top, we are playing three Play With Fire. I wanted to play a fourth, but we're already a little tight for space, but I definitely wanted three because the white aggro matchups are a big deal, and you need to get multiple removal cards in that matchup to be able to keep up, uh, to, to at least get to the end game where you have an advantage with bigger creatures. Uh, to that end, we're also playing Blizzard Brawl, which means we are going to have some snow-covered lands. We have two Outland Liberator, and this card has actually become more beneficial than it was in the beginning of the season because now everybody's on chariot you're seeing um, even more usage of the class cards you know things that you can hit with this which is actually a pretty big deal and it's not as bad anyway even if they don't have stuff if we have ways to flip it more consistently and have it be a three three for two so love that also the other thing to remember is when it's on its backside and you attack you get to destroy an artifact or enchantment just because so, gives you double duty there. Then, of course, we're playing Ranger class because the card's still good. It makes a wolf, so why not? Obviously, playing Werewolf Pack Leader because it's the best two-mana thing you can be playing in this deck. Kessig Naturalist because it pumps your werewolves. And the fact that we can get it on the backside more often really helps. Uh, there's two Unnatural Moonrise, which, you know, one of the things we were talking about. Just to have this be one of the key cards in the deck and the fact that you can use it multiple times is also nice i think at the beginning of the season it didn't feel as important but now being able to get to your have each of your creatures be their biggest form and do the most damage or the fact that you even have like reckless storm seeker that can actually be huge really you're talking five power plus with haste later in the game you know it really makes sense to go ahead and play a couple of these then we have tovalar because drawing cards is awesome and then Arlen Paxlet Hope. And we don't... Like, I, I say this about Arlen. Honestly, because of the way we can build this version, Arlen being on the backside is actually almost more beneficial at times. Because we can just attack with a big 5-5 five, five, or even 6-6 six, six sometimes, you know, and get extra damage in. So, don't want to sell that short. And Arlen also giving us access to more mana is nice, too. Then we have three copies of Unnatural Growth. Because, well, if your creatures get big, that's awesome, right? It's almost like Arlen's making 4-4 four, four wolves, and that doesn't suck. And then for lands, we have 4 Snow-Covered Mountains, 9 Snow-Covered Forest, 4 Crag Crown Pathway, 4 Rockfall Vale, and 3 Faceless Haven. So, not anything super surprising in here, other than the fact that we found room for the Unnatural Moonrise and the Unnatural Gross. However, play with fire, maybe we should be finding another room, a bit more room for that as well. But... As always, we're going to play the games, and at the end of the games, we will have a card spotlight for you. So don't miss that, because we are going to have some updates to this. So be sure to check us out at the back end of the video as well. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it. I'd like to draw an additional land somewhere along the way, but if we just have to put these all on green, we have to put them all on green, I guess. I mean, I could be safe and just play a ranger class to set up. I guess. Okay, well, we found that, so that makes life a little easier. Never mind. We're gonna play the bigger creature. Does our pack leader live? It does. Alright. Nope, we're gonna get a card here. Not the card we wanted. It's not the worst thing. But we could have done much better. Guess as a player decks all the time, just to see how to play a different style of deck. Yeah, that's part of the reason I put stuff up, is because otherwise I wouldn't play with a lot of the cards. You know? 
Uh, let's go hasty up. I mean, sure, a billion cards. I'm gonna have more cards than I can spend. And then I get three more? That's just absurd. Uh, I guess I'm discarding a mountain? Sure. I mean, you know we're about to get board wiped here, right? Oh, I thought that was a, blue, a uh, Doomscar. I mean, double Tobolar is a little rough, but not awful. All right, that makes things a little easier. Don't know if we're going to survive all this. This is going to be a lot against Mono Black. Uh, what do we take a chance on here? I think we just do this. If it dies, it dies. Okay, it didn't die. Mostly because I was thinking next turn we're more efficient just playing Ranger Class Blizzard Brawl, so... Meh. Which we're probably still going to do here anyway. Because we can Blizzard Brawl this to fight the merchant. Keep them from doing all the draw card shenanigans. Attack. And then we'll just play this because there could be a loth or some such here in our future which would not surprise me yep loth it is which gets further complicated because we get to kill a thing but then loth probably shows up next turn so let's go ahead and pay for this let's blizzard brawl one of these Let's send them both into old Loth. Put a counter. I guess it doesn't really matter. That can't die, can it? Uh, sure. Whatevs. Traitors, all of you. I'm gonna get two damage in. Maybe, maybe. I really thought this was just going to be a land and blood on the snow, you know, do that whole thing. But no, what? Not going to lie, didn't see that play coming. That is something. Okay. All right. I mean, we are only at 13. I mean, that's that's a real thing. But the good news here is it does mean even if they get a land... Oh, no, they'll still be able to next turn. All right. Um, I kind of want to attack first. I kind of want to play this first. Oh, what do we do here? Because that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, that's already a lot of damage next turn. They are down to two cards, though. But if they don't block, they take seven. We have this as a blocker. I, I think we do this first. I mean, there's a chance we find what we need to, but we get three cards out of this. So, if they don't block. I assume they block something. All right. Let's find... A play with fire. Come on. No such luck. All right. The plus side is they get rid of everything. We can play in Arlen. Like, that helps a little. Merchant? Sure. Opponent's still at a bunch of life here. Alright. It's 
Wolf time. Transform. <laughs> Doesn't move, obviously. Okay. So we get this. Gives our werewolves a bonus since we're on nighttime. Uh, do, 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 do. We do have another Tovalar. We could also just Arlen to attack, make a big attack. That'd be 10, 14, 17. They have two chump blockers, so you have, you have to stop something. Oh my gosh, this is so many choices. I mean... Sure. Well, if we Arlen actually... You know what? Let's do this. Let's Arlen. Because we can, we're on the backside, so we get the green-red mana, right? So we can actually plus Arlen. And then play this duder. I mean, obviously it's two spells that'll make us flip, but Tovalar is going to move stuff back anyway, so whatever. Uh, put it on Tovalar for safekeeping. <laughs> sure. Oh, I knew it should have waited on the land. I was trying to get greedy in case we drew a uh, play with fire. I'd have been able to kill something, but I was just thinking, like, if I don't, I play a faceless haven, I might be able to attack next turn, but no love. All right. Good news is we're protected. We have Arlen. We can make some creatures. We have Reckless Stormseeker. Like, we're not without choices. Here comes the sweeper, right? Because you, you have to have been waiting for one at some point. Yep, there you go. That makes sense. Though they are limited on resources now, so that's very good. Alright. So let's... Make two duders. Actually, hmm... If we plus Arlen, we have access to six mana. We could play both of these. We could play this. No, it wouldn't work. And it's not that good. All right. Let's go minus three. Let's play this and this. And I'm going to hope, on some level... Uh, you know what? Let's attack with... Do we want to attack one of these wolves? Yeah. Let's do that. Alright, seems fine. I need a green source, I need a green source, so we can play this on natural growth. <laughs> so that's what we're really hoping for here. That's the big play. Another blood on the snow, sure. Fortunately, we have more things we can do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sure. Kind of surprised they didn't just... Well, I guess it wouldn't have really mattered, but I mean, they could have got their loft in the yard and re recharged it, but makes sense, I suppose. Uh, okay, what do you want to do here? I think we just plus Arlen, right? And then Arlen will flip at our turns so we don't play anything. Alright. So then we could put a couple of 3 3s into play if we want to. Or we can put one 3 3 into play and still have a faceless haven. Yeah, opponent. How do you want to attack? These are real questions you need to ask yourself. Uh, 
Resolve. Sure. I got more. <laughs> like, we can do this all day. And then it'll flip back and I'll get to make more werewolves. And at some point, I'll draw a green mana, and then we'll have all these giant creatures. Uh, until then, we're just going to look sad. Sure. My will cannot be denied. Meat hook, sure. For two? Interesting, but all right. All right, we did find what we were looking for. Question is, how do we apply such things? I think our plan here is activate this, take out the law. And then we go ahead and just play Pack Leader. And then we make two wolves. Also could have got crafty and not even played the Pack Leader, so we could flip Arlen and that would have been a thing too. But I think this is fine. Because if the opponent doesn't play anything, we flip Arlen and then we have lethal, even without playing the Unnatural Growth. So, that's pretty big. And we're still at 10, so we're not really that worried about the opponent attacking. We've already fought through two blood on the snow. So, I mean, if they just top deck a third, so be it. But Arlen's definitely done work here. Arlen let us get a big attack in earlier by being on the backside when it was night. Uh, made a couple of sets of wolves which has been beneficial oh man the opponent didn't even play a card oof oof whoa wait what oh i need four green i was like wait i was like why can't i play this um yeah, I think we just turned this into a creature. Like, not much reason to do anything else. Harlan's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. I mean, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus, we still have Faceless Haven. I mean, it's, it's all the damages. <laughs> like, not sure what you want. Yeah, Harlan's indestructible once we do that. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, you get to chump block something. Uh, we'll just put that on probably one of these. Actually, no, we put it here. Why not? Because we can still give that trample. We did find our last green source we needed, but the game's probably going to be over. All right. I will tap for a colorless. All right. I mean, sure. Oh, interesting. I didn't get to respond. What was that about? Huh. I must have missed a step there. I assumed after you declared blockers, I would have a chance to do something, but it didn't let me. Either way, 
We're fine here. Yeah, I don't even know what they'd be trying to find with one black mana. Alright, just because we can. <laughs> like... For situations like this. Was, uh, let's mulligan. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Let's get rid of one of these. We're going to hope for the best that our creatures live. I don't have high hopes. But we're going to see. Oh, man. Triple Tovalar is not what you want to start the game with. Except for the fact that maybe they'll try to target a Tovalar and then, like, we get to kill one and, like, replace it. And that's pretty sweet. Because it could just be play a Tovalar, watch it die. Play a Tovalar, watch it die. Well, that wouldn't have killed the Tovalar anyway. So, didn't really have much choice there. Hey, we got an unnatural Moonrise. That's kind of cool. Spellbinder. Boy, oh boy, you gonna be sad when you see our hand. It's a whole lot of Tovalars. Ooh. So, this is an interesting situation, right? Does the opponent, if we attack with just the Tovalar, does the opponent block to keep us from getting a card? Because, yeah, because if we play Stormseeker first, they're just going to block the Stormseeker. Because I would, knowing that our hand is just Tovalars, right? So we just attack. All right, I'm down. And then I'll just go ahead and play this post-combat. I have no shame. I mean, because the worst case scenario, if they're not blocking, then we're just going to keep having more cards. So that seems okay, too. The weird thing is they knew we had the unnatural Moonrise. Which makes our creatures too big for them to deal with. So if we Moonrise, this is going to turn into a 4-4. This is going to turn into a 3-4. So they really can't do anything unless they double block. Yeah, right. I mean, I guess we do it. Well, that doesn't even do anything because this will become a 4, a 5-4. Yes, actually, we just put that here. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're both going to be the same. Like, I don't know what their answer is here. Because, I mean, you're not going to want to take 10. And if you double block, you're trading 2 for 1. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That was... For the first time, I think we drew just, like, three hot cards. Back to back to back. Those are all good. And we can actually... Oh, we can almost do it all next turn, right? 1, 2, 3. We need one more land and we could do all of it next turn that's big all right so you gained a bunch of life that's cute come on oh it's like man if we'd have got a land there oh oh that would have been humongous so if if we think it's worth it we could Hmm. I kind of want to play Stormseeker and play the Unnatural Moonrise. And, I, and I'll tell you why. The reason is that we're going to get some number of cards, which possibly results in us also getting a forest. And if we do, we get to kill something anyway. So let's hit it. It's just, you do what you're going to do here, opponent. I mean, if they're just going to gain a crap ton of life and they just get us, then they just get us. I 
I mean, I get it. Not wanting, I like, I get not wanting to block the Tovalar earlier if I were them, you know, because, you know, we have two dead cards, but at the same time, it probably would have been worth it just to keep us spending mana and not playing additional stuff or whatever, but here we go. All right. This is where we get to start eating things. Nope. They changed their mind. They decided it wasn't worth it. Are we going to kill the Storm Seekers because they trample? That would make sense. Okay. Uh, and again, it makes sense because they know we have Tovalars in hand. All that good stuff. Uh, yeah. Alright. We get two cards out of that deal. Oh, no. We get bonus cards. I forgot. Oh, that's excellent. I was going to say, if we did not find a forest out of all that... <laughs> All right. Well, with an unnatural growth, we should be pretty ready to rock and roll next turn. Yep. All around bad. All around bad. Definitely a mulligan. This is significantly better. Uh, however, hmm. Let's get rid of this. Ah, man, I wish we were on the play. I mean, on the draw. It would make it a little bit easier to know, like, what order I want to play stuff. I'm actually... Ah. All right, I'm just going to do that and just plan on playing the werewolf pack leader next turn. All right. We'll see how long it lives. My guess is not long. Because there are a lot of dragon fires and things floating around these days. Oh, there's blue mana. Oh, you didn't bounce my creature. So that's some good news. All right. And we get a card here. Love it. Did not want more mana, though. <laughs> Because I have a feeling play with fire is not great in this matchup, other than the fact that it can go up top and hit the opponent. Behold the multiverse. We don't mind seeing that from the opponent. Now we just got to draw a creature. Come on, deck. We're trying to be aggressive. B-E. Aggressive. You know the deal. Let's do it. Come on, now. They're trying to decide what to discard here. Come on, if we get a creature, this is so much damage. Oh, gosh. That's brutal. That is brutal. I'm trying to decide if I even want to pump this up or not. So we can make it three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and put the opponent at six. Man, that's big, seeing as how we have a play with fire. All right. I'm going to do it. We get to see what we draw first. Ooh, there's a Tovalar. Uh, then maybe we don't do that this turn. Because if this dies, we won't get to attack. Actually, yeah, yeah, we do it. We do it. We're still in. Yeah. I'm for it. Yeah. Okay. This is... Um, mm, I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to gamble on drawing red land or more green spells. Oh, bad call. Bad call. Playing against Mono White Aggro? Yeah. This isn't going to do it. Alright, we at least get to make a 2-2, two -two, but the chances of that surviving are pretty low. Actually, I want to play this. And the reason I want to play this is, like, this is a downside if they have Apparition. Right? But... We can still kill Apparition and get a 2-2 back. If it's a... Okay, it wasn't Apparition. So, 
But who knows? They could have also had Brutal Cathar. We don't know which is which. But if they did, then just playing this means we get nothing in return. So this way, I guess we get to find out if they have a Brutal Cathar. Though, we could... Hmm... I kind of don't want to use this yet. I want to wait till next turn. So, let's pass. And we might be able to catch the opponent off guard. Because we could kill something and then get back a 2-2 during combat. Luminar Casperant. Ah, uh, crap. We're probably going to have to kill that instead. That's super unfortunate. Don't love that. Do not love that, let me tell you. Hmm. All right, we're going to block here. Play a Tovalar. We're going to go ahead and fight. Actually, that doesn't really work. Yeah, I have to fight this. I, I messed this all up. I, I let it auto-tap the wrong lands and it just kind of went downhill, I think. But this does give us blockers, so it's not over. Got to think positive. Spellbinder. Great. And you can take a Tovalar or play with fire. We're fine either way. We will be trying to murder a Luminar Aspirant. No blocks. Ugh, that hurts, though. That makes us a whole lot of sad, let me tell you. I mean, we attack, they can trade. They probably won't, and we're just going to be trying to block. I mean, that's a bad attack, because if they have a removal for our token, we're just dead. It's game over. But. Well, that's still going to be pretty close to killing us. And then we take six. And unfortunately, we drew multiple to. Ah, oh, we didn't draw anything but lands. Ah, uh, that sucked. All right. All right, we finally found an opponent. Okay. Um, we have to keep it. It's just not exciting. Oh, just rolling out an adversary. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to assume it's going to get met with the Brutal Cathar. And then we'll just try another one. Nope, a Spellbinder. That's annoying, but not that bad, all things considered. And they opted not to attack there. Hmm, we found another Stormseeker. Do we trade a Stormseeker? Hmm. Or... I mean, yeah, we might as well, because the next turn we can at least play another Ranger class and then... Pump, so... That seems fine. Yeah, let's do that. And if they want to trade, they can trade. We're alright with that. Another Spellbinder. Okay, well, probably stop the other Ranger class, I'm assuming. Yep. Annoying, but so be it. Ooh, that doesn't suck. No, I guess this needs to be on green. Uh, let's go ahead and pump this dude. We'll attack. See how many removal cards they have. Because I have a feeling there's another one incoming. Angel fire. Well, that's a lot of life. We don't like that. Um... 
Do we block her? I think we do. We're going to end up on the wrong end of the life race if we don't. So, though they gain a bunch of life, like... Ooh, man, if you didn't have those Angel Fire tokens. Uh, can we survive this is the real question. I don't know that we can. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, we attack at the very least. Opponent's going to gain way too much life here, though. I don't think we have a way to get ourselves out of this. Because they're going to hit us for 7 and then for 7, and that's going to do it. Yeah. Oh, they had multiple Angel Fire? Yeah, we're dead anyway. <laughs> like, we were dead anyway. Okay, we're going to keep this. Not sure what we're hoping to play against with this hand, but we're going to see if this works and does anything. Oh, we stumbled into a mirror here. Or at least a pseudo mirror. Uh, well, not going to matter if we don't find mana. <laughs> That's step one. If we don't find lands, all of this is irrelevant. Glad I chose the way I did, though. Another naturalist? No. Interesting. Uh, they must have a removal spell in hand. Alright, we're going to try anyway. Since it's nighttime, we at least maybe get to attack for three. Okay. Okay. Weird. All right. Not what I expected. Oh, a phoenix. The hell? Okay. Um. Yeah, so that's a thing. <laughs> and this is any time it becomes day or night. You to back. Okay. Uh, so do I just do it and make an Arlen? They could do this and attack, because it's on nighttime, give something... Uh, this is so difficult. Alright, I think we do this. We give this a thing, but we keep the Lord of the Uvenwald out. Uh-oh, they didn't even want to block our wolf token? Okay, there's a frostbite. Cool. Well, I don't even know what this card is. What is this? In other words, they have trample. Alright. That that is a thing. Uh that's that's a thing I now have to know about. Alright. Um Hmm. What do we do here? Opponent's only at eight. Do we just put the bonus here and attack? See what happens. Give us the option of doing some more things. Oh, we don't even. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. It's not worth giving up our reckless storm seeker here. And the opponent's still not blocking. What is happening? Why? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh boy. Um I guess we play a liberator? I don't know. I mean they're only at five. I mean at least I can still activate Liberator if something comes up. Okay, they have one of their own. And they have a Tovalar, sure. Uh, you know what? I'm probably in the business. Am I in the business of game blocking? I think I am.
Because that's what I was hoping would eventually come through. And then we'll go ahead and pump this. And we'll attack. Put a counter here. Maybe it's just like a budget werewolf stack. I don't really know what's happening. That's what it feels like it is. The opponent's still willing to go down to two. Well, they must have another Tovalar and they just really want cards. Right? Village watch. Backsides of five, four. All right, give stuff haste. Sure. I mean, like, I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just play this. Make some duders. No attacks. I mean, now if we get a snow land, we could attack with enough for lethal or... Alright. Well, now we have an Arlen that's active. So that works too. Or we could also do this. Yeah, because it gives us the other green. Yeah, let's do that. Let's plus Arlen. I mean, I could also just fight something. We're playing for style points now, though. Oh, we can't. We Ah, uh, it's only three green. <laughs> I keep thinking it's three green, not four green. Oh, well, I guess we don't get to go for style points here, then. Whatevs. Oh, they had a frostbite. Look at that. Cool, cool. Well, then I guess we have to do this. I mean, we don't have to, but we kind of have to. And then we pump this one. And then we'll just split them across our creatures. Yeah, okay. Well, sure. <laughs> that was a weird way to go. Alright, we're gonna keep. But let's do it. And we'll just pass. Alright. Well. We at least found mana, so that's some good news. All right, what you got? Ghoul Caller Jadar. Hmm. You know what? Get nighttime. For some reason, I don't see the opponent playing two spells next turn. And this can't block, so we get a card out of the deal. And then we get the option of playing, like, the Storm Charge Slasher or a big Arlen. And we'll just see what's up. Uh-oh. We're going to sacrifice that for something? Oh, maybe they do have two spells. Uh, okay. Things being what they are, then. Let's Arlen up. Oh, that's right. We played two spells last turn. I just realized. Because our second spell was the Moonrise. Never mind. This is actually okay, though. Because we can still turn at night again whenever we're ready. Uh, yeah, sure, boss. We're going to hold on to that just a little longer, if you don't mind. Yeah, I was going to say. Because that's why. I feel like you're just attacking with that. We get to flip it. Uh problem is, though, now, I'm not sure how I want to play these spells. I think we're just going to play this. Then plus this. Get in with Arlen. 
Give this haste. Right, so it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. And then if they want to come in and just bust on our lemon, like so be it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I kinda have everything we need, because even if it's like a loth here. Yeah, we just turn Arlen into a 5-5, five five. we give Arlen trample, and then just attack the opponent. And because all we need to do there. Actually, Arlen already comes with trample. Never mind. Actually, all our stuff can just have trample. That's silly. Alright then. Just for sport. All our tramplers are going to go forward. Yeah. Hmm. This is not great. But I don't think it's bad enough we can throw it away. So let's just see what it turns into. Oh boy. Man, what I wouldn't have given for a play with fire. Nope, did not get one. Yep, I think we're going to be in trouble here, folks. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're just, like, the first two draws were lands. Like, that's, that's a bad, bad situation. Uh, that's definitely not what we wanted. Hoping maybe we can find... Oh, Redain, huh? That's unfortunate. Hmm. That was also not what we were looking for. But... It does open some options, maybe? No attacks. We're gonna... I think... Uh, this is gonna be hard to win it. Especially if they have, like, an adversary here. Yeah. Oh, Nadar. That's not what I expected to see. Adversary would have been much worse. So, Nadar's mostly okay, I guess. I need some other two-mana thing here. I should have actually played this last turn. Well, this still wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have been able to do what I want to do the next turn. Okay, fair enough. Sure. Liberator. Alright, so we do this. Put this in tapped. Give a bonus here, and we don't do anything. And then we're going to hope to get a removal spell next turn. That's going to be the game plan. Oh, and the Cathar shows up. That was bad. Yep. Yeah, opponent just attacked with everything. Not even attacking with Nadar? Oh, you're sparing us. It's like you're just toying with our emotions. Ah, uh, this sucks too. If we turn that night, they get a first striker. Yeah, we just drew too many non cards, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we keep it. I don't like it, but we're going to keep it. This time I do want to draw land land. That'd be nice. Let us build up some equity here. Uh, let's go with this. Alright, I did that because I thought they might have had a Fading Hope and didn't just want to just have a wolf get bounced. Though, if they just foretell here, now we want to land so we can get this on the backside next turn and really get a big hit in there. Oh, nope, they had a Smoldering Egg. That is a bigger problem. I guess we're just going to attack then. And you have to assume if I'm attacking in, I've got something for your egg, right? Um, yeah. 
Mostly because here, if I get a land, hopefully it's green land. I guess it didn't really matter. Like, we could bluff a little bit by turning it into a 3-3 and attack and see if that encourages them to want to block. Oh, is our Liberator dead? Yep, dead Liberator. Alright, that is a land. Not the way we wanted it, but we'll take it. Yeah, the opponent's not going to give it to us. Alright, well, I think we're just in trouble. There's probably a memory deluge incoming. Alright, well, that resolves. Okay. We'll attack. Not sure this is going to be enough, but we're going to try our damnedest. I mean, if they play Dragon, if they have another Dragon's Fire, that's only four. Well, Memory Deluge turns that into a real thing. So now they can find Land plus Fading Hope. Though if they bounce that, that doesn't really do much, does it? Because we just replay it. Still attack for another six. And they also don't know we have another one. Which they probably do have a Fading Hope. So this could work for us in a way. Uh, do we want that? What's that? And we get to play the Liberator? But we actually don't want to play two spells here. So, yes, though, that would be our third green. So we're going to take that anyway. And then we're going to play this one. Oh, they don't even have that? Wow! Huh. GG's. Well, that was some interesting results because here's here's the thing. Like, we actually didn't lose to any Is it decks, which was weird because I didn't think that was going to be the case. We were kind of 50-50 against the green decks, which doesn't surprise me. Sometimes just who gets more removal or whatever in those situations or kind of who gets to go first. So that, that didn't surprise me so much. But then the white aggro decks, our problem was we never drew more than one removal card in those fights. And you have to be able to play multiple removal cards uh, to get out of trouble with those decks. If we don't draw, you know, some combination of two, uh, play with fire or blizzard brawl, we're just not going to get out of trouble there. So that was a little unfortunate. But the deck actually played pretty well. I enjoyed it. I think it was fun playing the new cards. However, we never saw unnatural growth come into play. So... You know what? I don't even think we need it. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to cut those. And we're just going to play that fourth play with fire we're looking for a spot for. And then I know it's not a werewolf, but we're going to add two Moonvale regions. Maybe even three, actually. I think I'm going to cut a Tovalar. And the reason being is that we do have a fair amount of gold cards. So playing Moonvale regions just going to result in us getting extra cards every time we play something. And it's a flyer. So if we need to come over the top or just get those last few points of damage in, it's good. And that makes room for that fourth play with fire so that's where we're going to be on that so uh, it's a little disappointing i was kind of hoping the unnatural growth was going to just do more but we won games even when we couldn't cast it so there's no point wasting space on it unfortunately sometimes it just goes that way but, though i will say unnatural moonrise did exactly what it was supposed to do now for today's card spotlight we're going to talk about femerith enchantress this is a random card a lot of people don't know about from visions actually and i bring this one up because I don't think people know this is worth money. Like, go look. Go dig that up. There's a little bit of value in these. And you can find these in bulk boxes all the time. People's collections. Because, well, one, half of us didn't know what rarities were for any of those old sets because they weren't marked. But it's also a card that doesn't get all that much attention. But if you're playing an Enchantress deck or whatever in Commander, like, this is a really good card. Very simple to include. It's low cost. Like, it does a lot of what you want it to do. Especially if you have... Any of the enchantments you can sacrifice and your recurring stuff or whatever. There's a bunch of cool things you can do with it. 
but yeah, just one of the cards I thought I'd bring up, because if you're into that style of deck, this is pretty cool. And if you just have some laying around or need to go dig through your boxes, you might have a little more money than you thought. Now don't forget, if you want today's deck list, it will be down in the description below with links to our Facebook gaming stream, our Twitch streams, and our Discord, like usual. Also, quick reminder, if you haven't checked it out, I'll have a link to my new channel where I keep all my reviews and reactions over, so you can go see that. And we do have memberships that are going to let you dictate what's going to show up here on the channel, including some of your decks. So check those out. Otherwise, just like, subscribe, share, support, all that wonderful stuff you normally do. And that's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.